and thank you for watching. On today's show, we're going to talk about the Pioneer Video Power Plug. We show you these a lot. We're going to explain it a little bit better. Stay tuned. Okay, so every time we do an unboxing, we pull one of these power plugs out and we toss it to the side after we say power plug. Well, the power plug actually has quite a few wires on it that a lot of you don't even know what they are. So we thought we'd take a couple minutes here and go through them to let you, yeah, I don't explain. know, help, help you out. Explain. Explain a little bit. So on every power plug, there's going to be four sets of speaker wires, a positive and a negative. Most radio manufacturers use the stripe, the black stripe, as the negative. Mm -hmm. So you have a white, a gray, a green, and a purple. When we're doing a car, we like to divide those into four corners. So one, two, three, four. So that would be driver, passenger, driver's rear, passenger rear. In this case, so white is one, gray is two, green is three, and the rear, four four. that guy over there is four, is purple. All right. Yeah, I know, right? Just helps us. We're special. Now, also on the plug, you're going to have a yellow black wire. And a lot of people I've seen hook this up because it says mute on it or phone or something like that. Don't hook it up to anything. Just cap it off and call it a day. Mm -hmm. Why they even still put it on there is beside me. Then you have the blue-white wire. The blue-white wire is probably one of the most misunderstood wires out there because they call it system remote control. It's not a remote control. Remote control is something you put on your hand and use to switch channels on a TV or channels on the radio. But what it does, it controls things turning on and off from the radio. Right. So, for example, it'll turn on a power antenna or it'll turn on an amplifier. Exactly. Exactly. So that's why they call it control remote. Okay. okay. Now you have an orange-white wire. Orange-white wire is the illumination wire. If you want your radio to dim when you turn on your park parking lights or headlights, you need to hook this up to a 12-volt source that does likewise. Black wire is ground. Red wire is key. This is a wire that turns on and off with the key. That's my thing, yeah. No, no, it's accessory, actually. You don't want the radio hooked up to ignition because ignition is on through crank. Right. You want it hooked up to accessory because accessory turns off through crank. You don't need a spike coming back through the system. Yeah, learn something new, huh? Oh, okay. Uh, yellow is memory or main power. Uh, this is where the current draw comes from, not from the red wire. So make sure you have a good, strong source. Keep in mind, if you're just hooking this up to a factory wiring harness adapter, match them up color for color. If you want to know what they are, we're explaining it. Okay, so we have two other wires left. We have the purple-white. This is a reverse input. Now, all the video screens have a reverse camera capability, which means you have to hook them, hook, hook up the reverse wire. It can either be a positive or negative that turns on when the car goes into reverse. If you're having a hard time finding it, chances are good. If your light bulb is turning on, there's a power source back there. You can go back there and grab it. Um, some cars you can, some cars you can't. Whatever turns on. Now, then, of course, you have the famed light green wire. This is the, emer or the emergency brake wire. Parking brake, also. Emergency brake, parking brake, whatever you want to call it. This is the pain in the butt wire, okay? Uh, this needs to be grounded and then reset. On the new radios, we found, though, that actually if you go through and do the sequence, which is once the radio is on, brake, release, Break again or tap, release, tap. The car, the, the radio will actually remember the sequence until the battery is disconnected. So if you don't feel like buying one of those expensive bypass modules, and what I mean, $15, ooh, um, then you could just leave this wire hanging out somewhere, hook it up to a toggle switch. It'll remember the sequence, like I said, until the battery is disconnected. And then you have to do it again. We prefer just putting the bypass module in that way. Any questions? You sure? You got it? Now, the only thing that's going to differentiate... Di, 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 the only thing that's going to differentiate this wiring harness from the non-video wiring harnesses in the Pioneer line is obviously it's not going to have the emergency brake wire and it's not going to have the reverse input wire. Other than that, the colors basically are all going to be the same. The plugs are a little different, but you can't plug one into the other. 
All set, ready to go, happy, yep. got it. All right, guys, we hope this helps a little bit. Thank you for watching. As usual, we do this twice a week. Yeah, Tuesdays and Thursdays. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. If you have any questions or anything like that, please feel free to add them in the comments and we'll get back to you. Other than that, have a good night. Good. Good night. Away. Anything to say? Anything to be here? That's so sad. You forget your crowd. All right, see ya.